What does the vaulted pump mean for competitive Fortnite? Fortnite as we know it is flipped on its head. Patch 9.0 is by far the biggest Fortnite patch to date. They added three new drop points, Mega Mall, Neo Tilted, and Pressure Plant, and changed the entire map. While pub games will certainly change, competitive Fortnite will change dramatically as well. Let's start with the biggest change of them all. The pump shotgun has been in the game since the beginning of Fortnite and has obviously been one of the biggest meta-defining weapons. The pump rewarded great aim and forced players to fight at close ranges. If you were even three tiles away, the pump wasn't your best option. Epic Games surprisingly removed the pump and added a new shotgun, the Combat Shotgun. But before we go into the Combat Shotgun, I want to know here who likes this patch. If you have an opinion, then go to the link in the description and vote whether or not you think this patch is a good one. Also, if you want to see huge improvements to your game and actually climb the ranks in Arena, then go to ProGuides.com where you'll learn all the tips and tricks from the pros themselves, including Mongrel. Think of the combat shotgun as a combination of both the pump and heavy shotgun. Be wary though, the gun is incredibly aim intensive. The combat shotty has a really tight spread, meaning it's hard to hit, but it will usually deal a good amount of damage when you hit your shot. You can also fire the weapon pretty fast without having to reload much, and it sports a 10 round clip. Where the combat shotgun shines though is at distance. Take a look at how far away the combat shotgun can deal damage. How do you playtest this weapon and you're like, yeah, that's balance. The gun still pumps out damage from far away, allowing players to fight from safer distances than the pump. Epic Games has also buffed the damage of the TAC shotgun as well. Team TAC is finally back. It's still the same gun, but it will definitely be more consistent, especially at close ranges. I'm not going to go into the numbers, but for all intents and purposes, you cannot be one pumped anymore. The combat and the tactical shotgun cannot kill you in one single shot if you are above 150 life. While they certainly can repeat fire more, a pro player can never win a fight just by hitting an insane shot. But what does this mean for the meta? The tech actually might be the best option here. The pro meta is all about fighting in a box. Sure, the pump doesn't exist anymore, so you don't have to fight in a box, but the entire competitive meta isn't going to change overnight. We still expect pros to default to fighting in a one by one, especially in the late game. Simply put, you can fire the tech faster and it deals much more damage at close range. If a pro wants to fight at a distance, they'll use a combat shotgun. If they want to fight up close, they'll opt for the buff tech. I'm just not believing it, dude. You drop down right where you know where I am, huh? Okay. Interesting, dude. All in all, the removed pump gives everyone options and breathes a fresh new air into the competitive meta scene. Now that the shotgun talk is out of the way, let's move on to the actual most broken gun in the meta, the drum gun. The Tommy gun is the best gun in the game. If you actually don't think so, drop into a few games, run a shotgun and three Tommy guns, and let me know how you do. It's broken. The gun deals an insane amount of damage, has a 50 round clip, and can actually beat a shotgun up close. There's actually no point in holding an SMG if you have the Tommy gun. There might not even be a point in holding any other gun at all. Sure, Epic Games moved down the drop rate, but the drum gun will definitely define the competitive meta until it is vaulted again. Yeah? I don't think I would be You guys want to break each other? If you know you got to move out one day, right? I would I would never eat food if I moved out. Why not? Just order food, dude. Grapes. He eats grapes. In case you didn't know, he only eats grapes. Myth. The drum gun back in the game and the vaulted pump changes how the late game will be played out. Epic Games is basically promoting the W key here. Pros can no longer edit and one pump someone in another box. While you can still do chip damage, there won't be absurd pump shots. Late game is incredibly chaotic. You're running around making up decisions as you go. The pump shotgun helped all of this. You can pump someone and rotate immediately after. Now it's much harder to kill someone in a single shot. Pros have come up with other ways to get kills. 
Unfortunately, the best one is likely holding the W key and killing someone with a drum gun. The ARs only had a slight change and will all be about personal preference. The only AR removed was the suppressed assault rifle. Rip the suppressed AR, give some love in the chat. Pros will use their AR of choice, sniping people across the map with their absurd aim. The vaulted clingers was the last significant loadout change. Nobody likes explosives and clingers were a way to mess up builds in the late game. But hold your horses, Epic Games added back grenades. For non-pros, the clingers are easier to use, but for pros, grenades actually add an element of skill to explosives. A well-placed grenade can bounce off a wall and obliterate someone's health. In past games, pros seem to opt for the grenades the most over any other projectile explosive. Watch out for some more Kobe's in the World Cup. Kobe! But even with these weapon changes, the new map brings changes to the competitive balance as well. In competitive Fortnite, rotations are everything. The safer and faster rotations you can do, the better you can set yourself up for the late game. Sure, Rift to Goes are still in the game and will earn players some placement points, but the big rotation change is actually a fun one, the slipstreams. The slipstreams are actually pretty cool. They can be pretty annoying to enter, but you can zoom across the map and leave whenever you want. It actually seems like a healthy addition to the game. Not only are they fun to use, they add a flavor to Fortnite's new futuristic world. For competitive play though, I'm wary of their actual impact. You can move around the map much faster, but it comes with a cost. You literally have no way of protecting yourself in the slipstream. Anyone can laser you while you zoom across the map. Dr. Lupo! It's Lupo, man! Ah! Hey, yeah, oh my god. It just happened. The pros will be pretty wary before they jump into a slipstream, likely just running to zone if they can and using the baller when they have one. If you guys are interested in getting better with the baller, then please check out our baller video on our YouTube channel. The slipstreams could also add some really funny late game circles, so enjoy the chaos when everything lines up during the World Cup. The new locations may play a part in how much early game fighting there is in competitive Fortnite. There is so much metal on the map. Almost all of Neo Tilted is metal, the entire Mega Mall is metal, and all of the new Sky platforms are metal too. Pros farmed until max metal in their usual games, but it's not too abundant now. Pros usually like to avoid each other in the early game, but the added metal could be too valuable to pass up. However, expect pros to build out of metal much more. It will be a waste not to. That's it for our new patch changes. Let us know down below what you guys think of the new patch. Do you think the new shotgun is broken? Do you wish that you had double pump again? Let us know down below. If you guys are interested in getting better at Fortnite, then please check out ProGuides.com where we have courses with all your favorite pro players, including Mongrel. If you guys are having trouble getting your first win this season, then go to ProGuides.com and you will see dramatic improvements to your game. That's it for this video. Good luck in your next games.